There it is. And Guiri gets his 18th of the season. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. RC here. This is episode 14 and the finale of our second season in the beta. FM21 beta with Leeds United. Successfully stayed up the first year, and I am going to call the second year an even better improvement. We'll take a look at the uh, table here in just a second. But you can see we are in good form. We left off after Arsenal. Miraculous 1-0 win over top of the table Arsenal last episode. Check that out if you haven't, because we also played uh, Liverpool, who was a top three side, to a 2-2 draw. We played Leicester, 4-1 win. Rafinha got on the score sheet first. Rodrigo added one. Robin Koch with a goal all in the first 20 minutes. And then Rodrigo added a second for a brace. And later in the second half for a 4-1 win. Brighton, we took down 2-0. Curtis Jones and Robin Koch with the goals. Southampton, 2-1 victory. Rodrigo and Curtis Jones both on the score sheet. Jones hitting a run of form there. Bournemouth, we just crushed 6-1. Rodrigo with four goals, the first hat trick of FM21 for one of my players. Curtis Jones, another goal. That's three in a row for him. And Amin Guiri got his goal in the 31st minute. Taking a look at the squad. See if I can click on the buttons. Guiri barely holding on to the goal scoring lead now. 17 and 34, 16 and 34 for Rodrigo. He's added in 10 assists. Rafinha also hunting double digit goals this year. He's currently on nine. Konaki has seven, as does Curtis Jones with the three that he has scored recently. And then you can see we've added a handful of goals from quite a few other players. So we've got scoring pretty far down the list. Very happy with that. Ten assists leads the league. I believe it also leads the uh, leads the team. I believe it leads the league as well. Uh, Eleven assists is the club record. Twelve is the Premier League record last season. So he is on the hunt to possibly set some records there but seven assists for shackleton he is doing really well again um 35 i really wish i would have played him more in that midfield role where he could be an assist person because i think he just that first year he had a lot of assists remember that well yeah seven assists well seven this year what did he do last year he did something that impressed me last year. He must have just played well. Maybe it was the goals. I don't know. <laughs> uh, and also, there he is, Calvin. Two goals, three assists, 29 starts. He's been coming into form as of late, playing really well. And I think he has solidified his starting role there over Tanali. Although Tanali, God, he is so good. He is so good. And I don't have a mid center. I'm contemplating pushing my attack my wingers up again and going with two midfielders. Jones would probably slot in there, but then I could also play Phillips and Tanali together. And Jones could maybe move out wide. Do we do that for one match and see how it works out? Keep him as a deep line playmaker. Central mid. Put everybody back here. Wonder what that would look like. So Rodrigo, Guiri, Rafinha, Jones, Phillips, Tanali. See, I like that. I like that. That puts as as Gallo on the bench, which doesn't hurt my feelings. Also, we've extended, not that we're going to be here, but we have extended the loans for, who are our loan players? I forget. Sessegnon and Curtis Jones. That's right. We've extended those for another year. So, again, just setting the team up if we decide to go with the five-year look back, which, again, I have, I'm recording all these the same day. I'm recording these on Friday. 
Uh, so you'll see these next week. So haven't seen your responses yet uh, to last episode, but um, definitely uh, let me know. I'm lo I'll be looking at that to maybe do one last five-year look back, uh, just you know, just in case. But let's get into team selection. I think we're going to go with that. I did take a look at uh, that last match that we had. We beat uh, Grief, the keeper that we sold. And uh, he played pretty well, gave up two goals. And he's giving up an average of two a game, which is what uh, what he'd been averaging with us. But his rating had gone up to about a 6.8, where it was a 6.4. When, uh, six four or lower with us so all right we do have some rain today i'm a little worried about that come on fellas oh there's a nice little volley guiri uh beautiful touch and he shoots wide he's looking to try to get a get put some room between him and Rodrigo, you can see we are doing well in the, the heck was that? I think he was just under pressure and flung it up there. That was interesting. Oh, Jones could not get that ball. All right, he got back and knocked it to Shackleton. Over the top, it's Rodrigo. And there's the go-ahead goal and the equalizer to tie him with Guiri with 17 on the season. And now it's a matter of who will finish tops. Nice ball over the top. Uh, we have actually moved up into fifth place with the points and goal differential. So we are doing well there. But worst case, we are looking at we can't we could secure Europe qualifying t this match with a win, maybe even a draw if if uh, the team behind us lose. Rodrigo, oh beautiful shot! That's his 18th. He's got two in the first 25 minutes, and Guiri has got to be looking going. Wait a minute, that's supposed to be my glory. <laughs> Oh, that is brilliant. Two goals in the early going. Phillips has been really playing well. Oh, my God. Are we going to have another hat trick? Shot wide. Can he have two hat tricks in a row after we haven't had hat tricks in two seasons? Taken down in the box. Stumbled. Let's uh, let's ask him to focus. Okay, a lot few of them weren't happy about that. Everybody's playing well. Tenali's playing a six six. Could be better. Phillips playing a seven point three, by far showing his skill. And a 1.55 to a 0 0.03 on the XG. Two shots, one on target. And we'll come back for a second half kickoff highlight. I'm wondering if I shouldn't drop those wingers back into midfield and fall into a 4-4-2. Or even go back to where we were. Shackleton steals it. Reversed field. Rafinha chases it down barely. Well, there's a ball over the top. Rodrigo's on it. This is going to be a score. Oh, he tried to dink the keeper. He tried to dink the keeper for the hat trick. All right, we're going to praise him now. All right, uh, let's see. Tell you what, let's take a look at some subages. Rafinha, we can bring, Co uh, let's bring Poveda on. Dallas is on a yellow. Let's get Sessignon on for him. 
Shackleton into the box. Jones is there. Oh, mixed up in the mixer. Shackleton into the box. Oh, lays it off into Jones. And Jones gets it turned away at the post. All right, there's our two subs. Bringing on some fresh legs. Rodrigo gets it poked away. Oh, good save by Meslier. He's on a 6-5, but he really hasn't done anything. Hasn't had anything to stop. So I guess the game is, you know, maybe they're starting you at a 6-5 as an average rating, you know. Thinking we had a foul there or an offsides. Yeah, this this is so funny to look at. All right, let's uh, let's bring in. I want to bring off Jones or Phillips. Tell you what, if I bring Shackleton up into the mid, then I can bring Esgalion back here. I like that. Shackleton having to play a little less defense, so he won't oh, punish Jansen. Still with Brentford, huh? I like Pontus. I like Pontus a lot. Really sad that he had to leave Leeds, but uh, hey. 2 0 win. Another clean sheet for Meslier. If we take a look at that, he's got uh, 12 shutouts now. Nothing wrong with that. Just over one a match, 1.1 goals a match. Give him a little bit of praise there. And we are now even with Wolves. I believe they they drew. Great draw there uh, for us, as that gets us uh, even on points and double on the goal differential. And honestly, we could catch Chelsea, maybe? Who's Chelsea finish with next week or next match? Really? Are do they have three games in hand? They they do. Uh, we're not we're not catching Chelsea, uh, <laughs> but I'll be happy with uh, Europa qualifying. All right, we'll see you guys back here in a minute. Rod oh, Rodrigo's season is done. Ouch! Two to three weeks pulled knee ligaments. I don't recall seeing him pull up. Oh. All right, well, we are going to have to go. Uh, Guiri's going to have to pace his next one. We'll see you guys back in a minute and see if he can do just that. All right, we are back for our final match with Leicester today. I uh, just wanted to show you, man, United uh, raised the trophy in the Premier League. Uh, I tell you, the coding at SI, somebody up there is a big Man United fan. <laughs> uh, Arsenal, Liverpool, Chelsea have all qualified for Champions League. Uh, Chelsea evidently won the league that goes to the Euro 2, but with them qualifying for Champions League, that'll go to somebody else. I guess that adds a seventh team into the mix, so Man City or Fulham could be playing for that. We should have Europa League sewn up, although it had, doesn't show it. Let's take a quick look here. So we're fifth, Euro Cup group stage, and then Euro Cup group stage if no more than seven teams qualify. And then if the, so, yeah, they would add a seventh place team, and we're looking at thirty nine point eight million. By the way, if you're curious about finances, we have been hemorrhaging money most of the season, about two million dollars a month plus transfer window. Uh, so we're fifty two and a half million down for the season, uh, but you can see we made ninety three million last year. We are still just under six million positive in the bank, and so you know we should be. Another two down, so about three million, 
and then 38 coming in. We should be at about 41 million. And I would like to keep the payroll south of 70 million next year, or at least that would be my goal where I continuing on with the team. All right, we've got a lot to figure out today. So we're going to do the second match. Then we'll do the end of season. We'll look at the uh, top selling kits and everything else. But we need to look at team selection because Rodrigo is out and we need to figure out who is going to take his place. So Konaki is there. He's got seven goals. And you know what? He is a fast son of a gun. I would like to bring on... It means I don't have anybody up top. Urente's fresh. I'm going to bring... I want him to start. And I tell you what, I'm going to pull Costa... And I want, I want to dig into our U23s here. Uh, let's see. Charlie Cresswell is a defender, and he looks good. I think he's going to be good for us down the road. Sam Greenwood, he looks good. He's had his debut, though. Now, he could play winger. He's got 21 goals, 11 assists, and non-competitive. But he played a 6-9 in his one Premier League game. You know what? I'm going to pull... I'm going to put him on for Paveda. And I'm looking for... Is it him? Max McMillan? He's got eight goals in five, league, five cup matches. Oh, by the way, we did win silverware. We won the Papa John's trophy. And he's got 11 goals, five assists... I think I want to give him a debut. So we're going to bring him on here. Probably play him in at third striker. And Greenwood can come in on the wing. I think that's what we'll do. I would like to get him his debut. In our last match, we'll pump our fist a little bit. We'll demand more from the get-go. Dallas. Into the box. Into Tenali. Oh, I forgot to pull him out for Phillips. Oh, it's into Guiri. Come on, you got to make that shot. Rodrigo would have scored that one. Oh, Phillips is in. Okay. Uh-oh, we've got a big counter opportunity here. Ricardo brings it out wide. Center back comes out to closing down. Now both center backs are out of position. Good clearance. Good defense. All right, Konaki out to Jones on the overlap. He's into the zone. Squared in. A couple of shots. Both are deflected by the defense. Big save. Let's take a look at the tactic. Yeah, so it kept the same tactic that we had. Um, I, I was thinking I changed that in game, and I did not. All right, Tenali. There's Koch, and it goes high of the mark. Schmeichel, the former Leeds keeper. Dallas to Rafinha. What's he going to do with it? He holds it up. Back out to Dallas. There's a cross in. And Phillips! Oh, and the icon of the club with the volley from inside the box. Are they... Oh, they're going to wave it off. Nobody else touched it, but somebody must have been in an offsides position. They've disallowed the goal. Oh, just barely, and it was Guiri that didn't move. I don't think he was worried about moving because he knew he wasn't going to factor into the play. Oh, that's harsh. Very harsh. Phillips out to Jones, back to Tenali. Phillips to Shackleton. There it is, and Guiri gets his 18th of the season. 
Does that equalize? I think that equalizes with Rodrigo, or does that put him up? I don't remember. But that could give him the golden boot for the team. Certainly not for... Not for the Premier... Oh, that's got to be a dirty foul. And that's a straight red card. Straight red card. All right, so we're a man up now. That's going to help us a little bit. Uh-oh, that goes the wrong way. It's Jamie Vardy. Whoa, Meslier goes sky high for that save. Shackleton heads it down. Back to Meslier. We're not distributing the ball here. And Jamie Vardy, his third of the season, just his third. Well, we are a year into the future. Man, man. That was a good finish by him breaking the line. Squared in to Nally. Phillips. Oh, there was a big shot that goes wide by Rafinha, and that would have been his tenth. He needs that. Come on. Headed down. Konaki is there, over the top, Guiri, and he gets blocked. Schmeichel with a nice save. Guiri needs to do a better job finishing. He's on a 7-4 with a goal. Koch gets ahead on that one. Goes high. At least we're pulling a point. I would certainly like to get the win here. Konaki. Over the top. There's Guiri. And he puts it right into Schmeichel's fists again. Uh, can I give him a... Nope, can't give him a touchline shout. All right, Dallas. Up to Phillips. Back to Dallas. And Rafinha with another shot. And we're going to go in even at one. Even at one. Oh, boy. So a disallowed goal. Vardy's goal there. Um, I want to go. There a man down. We can get a result. All right. Let's start the second half. I mean, we're playing well. Shackleton's actually underperforming a li little bit. Demand more. Rory Gallagher. Connor Gallagher, not Rory Gallagher. I don't know any of these guys. Unless they play for the leads, I have no idea. Isn't there a Corey Gallagher out there or a Rory Gallagher? There's got to be. I wouldn't have just made the name up. All right, Konaki. He holds it up. There's a square. Two. Two shots. We can't get it. All right, you know what? I'm going to make a sub here. I'm going to pull Konaki off, and I'm going to put uh, McMillan on for his debut. I'm going to bring Jones back here. We're going to swap those two guys. And then Tenali, I'm going to bring Greenwood on for him and you know what is he he can play with either foot Rafinha plays I think he just plays better on the out on the right side so yep we'll have our two youngsters from our U23s come in one of them making the debut
And anything? Koch heads it out. Phillips, we've got a counter opportunity. He's got people out left. He goes over the top. It's McMillan. Oh, McMillan could have gotten a goal on his debut. Guiri gets us a corner out of it. You saw the pace from McMillan there. That was nice. Madison. And we're going to be on even footing here. I think Jones is going to get an early shower. Nope, he only got a yellow. Oh, the follow-up. It's Greenwood. He gets a goal. I think that's his first goal. Oh, they're looking at VAR. Oh, no. If the youngster loses his first goal for that, and he does. How many VARs have we been disallowed this year? Oh, that's a fraction. But Urente, to, to, to be fair, he did touch the ball. So you got to call it if, if that's what it is. It's the other goal that where the guy didn't even come into play on the ball. Oh, Zinchenko. Last game of the season, first goal of the season. And now we are down two to one. Oh, boy. All right, we are going to drop these guys back. Fire up. And, yeah, I think I got to pull shacks off here. Boy, and I don't. Uh, you know what? I'm going to bring Sessignon on. Let's bring Sessignon on, switch him in Dallas. Let's do that. I think that's a better better sub than what the AI was telling me. Come on. We're going to go attacking. We're going to demand more. Five minutes of stoppage time. We have not lost a game in so long, and we're going to lose the last game of the season. Sessignon, McMillan, back to Sessignon. Up to Greenwood. He's into the box. There's a cross. Oh, they had a shot, but it was blocked. I think one defender blocked two of our guys. And... I believe Urente is going to get, uh, well, he was called for the foul, no card. We are in the final minute. This is probably it. They are sitting on the ball. And they blow the whistle. That sucks. Two disallowed goals. Um, hands together. Can't fault the performance. We outplayed them. Oh, boy. We do finish fifth, so that's good. So let's go ahead and get up into the end-of-season stuff. Leeds qualifies for Euro Cup with a top-five finish. Nice. $39.8 million. That's great. Southampton get relegated, as do Aston Villa and Bournemouth. Norwich stays up on goal differential. And we pay out $2.9 in bonuses to the squad. All right, here's our end-of-season review. New arrivals, Amin Guiri. $15 million. 36 starts, 18 goals, 5 assists, and a 7 rating. Steven Sessignon on loan. 17 starts, 9 reserves, 1 goal, 3 assists, and a 6.97. David Konaki, 6.75 million, 26 games, 11 starts, 7 goals, 4 reserve appearances. Tanali, 24 million from Brescia, 28 appearances, 23 starts, 1 goal, 6 reserve appearances. I don't think, you know, you can look through the rest of that list. Uh, 
Cameron Carter Vickers, three starts or three appearances, probably the least active signing of the season. Gaston Silva did not play as much as I thought he might. Three assists, though. And I was pretty disappointed with Ngayo, or as Gallo. Might have, should have signed the other guy. The younger one. Couldn't have been any worse. Jack Harrison. And then all these guys were youngsters. They're, they're down in our youth. So nothing there to worry about. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think uh, we can call that a, a very successful transfer season. We were expected to finish in the top half. We end up in fifth. 90% capacity at Ellen Road with 34,194. A little disappointed in that. I would think we would be selling out. Rodrigo, 18 goals, leads the way, and that must be due to fewer matches, if I had to guess. Outpointing Guiri, who also had 18, but 36 goals between our two strikers. Very, very nice. 6 nothing win over Bournemouth. Guiri with a brace in that one was our biggest win. The match to remember, a 2-1 upset of Chelsea. Rodrigo with a brace and... The goal of the season was Konaki, a marvelous goal from the striker, dribbled the ball from within his own half and scored an accurate finish for the equalizer. Well, it was a go-ahead goal at that point, putting us 2-0 up, and then we lost it. <laughs> uh, let's see. National, we're still national reputation. Sponsorship is down a little bit. We're even on broadcast revenue. Corporate and hospitality is down just a touch. Competition prize money is up $18 million, and we're down just a little bit on match day commercial and retail. Total merchandise sales, $3.2 million, and 19,720 jerseys sold. Just out of curiosity, if you guys play with, like, really big clubs, Barca, Juventus, uh, you know, how many jerseys are you guys selling? I wonder if there's a, you know, how they figure that out. Because I know this year, I want to, Leeds sold out. I think they had printed 300,000 shirts and sold out and had to go back and do a second run of jerseys. But Rodrigo, number one, Phillips, Konaki, Dallas, Guiri, all three strikers in there. Phillips, of course, like that. Meslier, the starting 11 for the season. Meslier in gold, Dallas, Urente, Koch, Sessegnon on the back line. Sessegnon, the only one missing a seven rating by only a little bit. Calvin Phillips in the holding position. Shacks and Click in the mid. Guiri, Rafinha, and Rodrigo on the attacking side. The club awards. Fans player of the season, Robin Koch. Young player of the season, Ilion Meslier, the goalkeeper, signing of the season, of course, had to be Amin Guiri. Get him in your save if you can. He is good. David Konaki, the goal of the season. Top goal scorer is Rodrigo. Let me check here. He, he's got, oh, he only has 17. Hmm. He's got 18 overall. One was a cup. 18 and 36. And Rodrigo was 18, 18 in the league. Okay, so that's what it was. Uh, Rodrigo with 10 assists, so he just misses the club record by one. Uh, eight, no, five players of the matches, and Robin Koch played a 7.18. 18 goals is a record. 10 assists is a record in a season. 14 shutouts is a record for Meslier. And the players of a match is a record as well. I like this because it shows what the new records are. So that's cool. Very nice. Into the best 11, Guiri was the pick of the litter. He gets into the starting 11. It, you know, starting 11 over two years. So not a whole lot to go on there. All right. Oh, they did sign me to a new contract. It's like $5 million, $5 million and some change per year. If we take a look, finishing the top half next season, Euro second knockout round next year minimum. 
Uh, they did sign me to a new two-year deal, work towards being recognized as the best of the rest, so outside the top five or six clubs. I think we're working on that already. And that's really all they ask until five years out when they want us to be the best of the rest. Squad dynamics ended up very well. Plans for next season. Let's go there. Sensible. Okay, last season we didn't do promises. We stayed, we did. So let's do promises now. Raise hands to pacify. Looking at younger players. And all of them are thrilled. Cool. All right, I think that's enough promises for now. Thanks, everyone. I won't see you because we're done. All right, so they're good. Leave the meeting. Let's see what else is going on. All right, new budget. Do we have a new budget? No. Team report, injury report, they're out. Where do we want to send them? Do we want to go to America? No. Let's go to the Netherlands this year. Just because. So we lose our last game. That's a bummer. Top goal scorer, 20 goals for Anthony Marshall, uh, Dominic Calvert-Lewin, Calvert and Rodrigo. We know he had 18, as did Calvert-Lewin. Very good season, guys. I am very happy. Initial budgets, 78.2 million payroll and 77 million in transfer. I think we could go after two really good players. Facilities are downgraded. So let's request. Oh, we don't even have to go into the meeting. It was just an automatic request. So we'll see what happens there. And I think that is it. We've seen the budget. Nothing else to really look at. Oh, they are going to upgrade them 3.15 million, and they will be done early in the season. Early in the season, 3.2 million. All right, guys. Well, Leeds does stay up, and I will call that a successful FM21 beta. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much, guys. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. Or you just haven't, uh, you, or you're new to the channel. And um, as always, I appreciate you guys so much. Talk to you. Bye.